Hello everyone, in this video we will be solving proportion using cross product or cross product is otherwise called cross multiplication. There are still other two methods that we can use in order to solve proportion and that is using the giant one and using the undoing division method. I will put the link of those video in the description box below and it should appear in one of the cards somewhere up here. Okay, so let's take this first example here. To use the cross product, we are supposed to cross multiply the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second, the one that's located on the right. So these two will be cross multiplied. So these two will partner up and these two will partner up. Now, here's the thing. Others are going to think that they're going to cross multiply the 5 and the x. That is not oh, the way how no. we do it. That is the wrong method. It should not be this way or the numerator oh, and the numerator. No. That is not the right way to do it. So it has to be the numerator and the denominator on the um, uh, right and the denominator on the left and the numerator on the right. So that's cross multiplication. So in this problem that we have here, we get uh, 3 times x. So I'm going to write 3 and then times x is equal to... 5 times 12. So I multiplied 3 and x. I wrote that up here. And then 5 and 12, I multiply that over here. So this would come out 3x is equal to 5 times 12 is 60. And then we want x by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. We're going to divide this by 3 so we can cross the 3 out. We're left with x is equal to 20. So the value that we have here is um, um, the denominator of 12 is 20. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, do not multiply the 7 oh, and the 3. No. That's not the way how we do it. Do not multiply the x and the 18. Oh, That's no. not the way how we do it. That is not the correct way. So what we do is we are multiplying this two and this two right here because others think that they can multiply these two and that is not the right way. Again, that is not the right way. So we have here, um, we're going to multiply 63 and um, x. So that would be 63 and x are multiplied together and we have 7 and 18 multiplied together, so we got 63x is equal to 7 times 18 would be 126. And so we're going to divide both sides by 63. Divide this by 63. And so we are left with x is equal to 2. Did you get x is equal to 2 on this problem right here? Good. Perfect. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two more problems up here. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, others do it this way. Please do not do it that way because others miss this part. Oh, they no. multiply these two. That's not the way how we do it. So what are we multiplying are these two right here. So that would be 15 times x. And that is equal to, we're going to pair these two up. So that would be 18 times 5. So then we do the math on this, that would be 15 times x is 15x is equal to 18 times 5 is 90. So then we want the x by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 15. We're going to divide this by 15, so we can cross that out. So we're left with x is equal to 6. Did you get 6 as your answer on this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the last one right here. Again, Others miss oh, this part. No. They multiply these two. That's not the way how we do it. But instead, it should be this two here, not the one that are um, across from each other. So we're going to multiply these two right here. So the partners are 6 and x, and then we have 8 and 36. So then we can go ahead and simplify this. That would be 6x is equal to 8 times 36 is 288. So then we're going to divide both sides by 6 because we want to solve for x or we want to have x by itself on the left side. So that would be x is equal to 288 divided by 6 is 48. 
Did you get 48 as the answer to the fourth problem here? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!